um, I just wanted to do some of my empties today. This will be, um, this will be, like, pre-recorded, so this is, um, a while ago from when you see this. I filmed it before, so, um, I just wanted to show you some of my empties and things that I have used up, so, um, yeah, let me just get right into it. The first thing is actually this, which is the Equate. As you can see, I put my own makeup remover in it that I made. And it's the one that I may have talked about in a video before this because I pre-recorded that one too. But I'm not sure if it will be up first or not. But this is just the makeup remover that I made. And I just put in this Equate bottle because I did finish this. I do like this. It's supposed to be a knockoff about of the Clean and Clear one that's like the toner. So this is the astringent, um, deep cleaning, um, salicylic acne, acid stuff. So, yeah, I liked it. Um, I definitely would not repurchase the Cleaning Clear because this was a couple dollars cheaper at the Walmart brand Equate, which was nice. And then I have all these empties to go through with you. So I'm really excited to talk about these. I also have, um... A candle that I burned through, which I did burn through in the past week and a half. So, um, that's how long this one took me, but it is huge. It has a burn time. It doesn't say the burn time, I don't think. But it is 10 ounces, which is huge for a candle. And it's the three wick, which is really nice. But this was really cheap. I think it was only like... Four or five dollars, and it's by Candlelight Cinnamon Pecan Swirl. So this got me really in the mood for cinnamon buns. So the other day I poured down on some, and I regretted it later, but um, it was awesome. So yeah, this smells delicious, and it's not seasonal, which I kind of like how it's like any scent throughout the time. Um, so that's the candle I burned through so far. Um, uh, most of the other ones I featured in my last kind of empties video. And now getting on to the actual products. I do have a lot of full-size products, which I'm very proud of because, as you guys know, I did talk about that I'm trying to go through, ah, that I'm trying to go through all of my products, um, and just kind of, like, um, go through all of them just so I can, like, see how much I actually have and then, like, maybe replenish them depending upon if I do have extras, so. Um, the first thing is this, which I actually have two of that I finished, but it is the Aussie 3, um, Moist 3-Minute Miracle, and it's just this bottle. It's, I love this pump, how you can just rest it here, and then it has this, so you don't really have to open a cap. It's kind of good for lazy people. And then I also finished another one. So both of these are empty, and I really liked them. I did sometimes use these as regular conditioner, and I only kept it on my hair for, like, a little bit, not enough to be a deep conditioner. But I did use it for a conditioner just because I wanted to go through these. And I'm so glad I finally went through these because these did take me a while, and I was going through other hair masks or... Um, deep conditioners too, which is the macadamia one, but um, but these are super nice. They're only like three or four dollars at the drugstore, and they're really accessible to get. Along with um, the price is always on point for me, so I really like it. And the smell is great because Aussie just has really great smelling products in general. I guess I will stick to the thing about hair care. The next thing is this Joyco, which um, is honestly one of my favorite brands that I tried out. This I got for T at TJ Maxx for, I think it says, I got it for $8, and it um, was originally like $17. And it was $17 for 10 fluid ounces, which isn't, I don't think that's too bad actually paying full price for this, but um, I love going to TJ Maxx and finding good prices on um, like really good, decent hair brands. So this one isn't that popular of a brand, but it is more high-end than drugstore, and I really liked it. But this was specifically for color, so I have been using it like the whole time that my hair has been colored, and it's just really good. Um, and that was the conditioner, not the shampoo for that. Um... The next hair thing I have is, like I said, I mentioned this briefly, it was the Macadamia Natural Oil. Now this honestly lasted me probably, um, probably like nine months. This honestly like almost lasted me a year or so, nine months, which is really good because it's only eight and a half ounces, so about an ounce a month. And this stuff smells delicious. It's this white cream. 
Um, it's kind of like about the same consistency, I would say, as this one, but they're totally different products. This one is retails for $32 for an 8.5 ounce, which I always get the buy one, get one free at Target, which they occasionally have. They don't have it all the time, but I look out for that one before I go out and buy the full price because I never paid full price for this because I don't think... I think it's really nice and it's worth it, but I don't think it would be worth it to pay full price, at least not without a discount or something, but they usually don't go on discount because it is a higher-end brand that you would find at Ulta. But this is just the Deep Repair Mask. This you have to leave on for 7 minutes, and this one you have to leave on for um, 3 minutes, which is the difference. But sometimes I use this. I use this obviously less than I did for the 3-Minute Miracle because it is more expensive, and it's not something that I would use every day because it does have more in it. And these actually, I heard, have sulfate in it, so it's kind of like worse for your hair. It's more damaging or not as healthy, and this is more natural ingredients and yeah. I just really like this a lot. I think I might actually save this tub and use it for something else because it's a really nice tub and I can make a hair mask or something and put it in there. So that's my review on that. The next thing is, I guess I'll just do this because I think it's like one of the few food things I have, which is this crystal peach mango and it's this green tea peach mango green tea and it's just these packets make um up to eight ounces of water which is basically like a huge like family pitcher so i really like these um they're super easy to make all you do is add eight ounces of water put the packet in and stir it up and it's only five calories per serving which is really nice because i kind of sometimes i drink this like water even though it's obviously not but it's pretty close to it and um it's kind of just like a great supplement for a juice because usually I'm into cranberry juice and raspberry juices, but I think that is um, a great alternative. The next food thing is this Fit and Crisp Pro Max, and this I got in my blue... Bulu box which was basically just had really healthy food in it and this is like a protein it has 26 percent of your daily protein it's kind of like a protein bar but it's not because it's like vanilla marshmallow like a rice crispy so i thought it was definitely amazing i would repurchase it only if it was at like a local store near me but if i would have to get it shipped in or anything i would not like pay shipping for it i don't think it was that amazing Sorry if this is going to be lengthy. If it is, I'm going to try to chop it up in little sections. But the next thing is this mitt. I honestly did not find this worked for me. You can find this at Ulta for about like $2. But um, yeah, I don't think it worked that well. I tried both sides. This side got flaky on me and this side, um, all this stuff got through my hand because it's just thinner. So I didn't know how to use it. It didn't really say on the instructions. And I did. I think this is the right way to use it. But I don't know why it got all flaky and this started to peel off on my skin. So I thought that was kind of gross. The next thing that is kind of showery are these Venus Spa Breeze. Now, I didn't go through all these yet, but I will be. And I just wanted to throw away the package because I'm not going to save these little razor head things but this is what they look like if you guys haven't seen these before i'm pretty sure you have um i love venus over any of like gillette or anything else venus is definitely the one that i would repurchase from and these six packs are really expensive i feel like they're like 20 dollars or something crazy like that but honestly they last me forever i did not use that much of them at all for winter because i kind of kind of like cool down on shaving during the winter time so these i mostly just break out for the summer and springtime but yeah, I don't really use that much in the fall, so I kind of get my money's worth in the summer, and that's kind of when um, we end up purchasing them, we as in me and my mom. The next thing is this St. Ives Blemish Control. I did use this whole thing. It took me almost like um, like the same thing as the hair mask, about nine months to finish this. And this is six fluid ounces, which is a great thing. Honestly, I was getting bored by the time I finished this. I don't like going through products for like more than nine months. I kind of get bored with them. And especially because I use this about almost every day. I'm not sure if you're really supposed to. Um, I heard you're supposed to use them like three to five times a week, but not like every day, maybe every other. So this is a blemish control apricot scrub. I think it smells really good and it worked really well. Um, Honestly, my acne, I feel like it doesn't look that bad at the moment. There, there are, like, three major ones. But my acne is usually, like, hard to get, like, hard to see results from anything. So, um, this is oil-free and it has salicylic acid, which is what I look for in all of my acne treatment things. Um, I have a lot of samples, but I'm going to go through face wipes right now because... Honestly, I have a ton. Um, I have been saving up and using these, and I have a lot of opinions for each of them. Um, 
This one is this Love and Beauty by Forever 21, and this is a hydrating one, which is, I think this is, yeah, this is the one I went through before the one I'm going through now. This one worked fine. I honestly didn't see, like, it worked. It wasn't that great. Um, I really like the other makeup, um, the other face wipes that come in the silver packaging that I've mentioned a ton on this channel, and those come in the lavender and stuff, but this was okay. It wasn't anything horrible, I don't think. Um... The next thing are these, which are the Neutrogena ones, which Neutrogena ones, which would probably be my probably my top favorite ones because they are the travel size, which is fun, and there's seven of them in here. But um, they are the ones that I think stay the most moist and wet. And um, I don't know, I just really like them. They are more cloth like. Um, this next one that I'm going to mention was definitely not up to par at all, like Neutrogena. But this is just so clean and fresh. I basically got this because it was on sale at, um, at Urban Outfitters. I didn't know why. I thought it would be good. It retails for $6, which is about the same price as Neutrogena, and it was on sale for $2. So I was like, why not try this? If I don't like it, I can start, I can use it for cleaning up or something. Um, so that's what I ended up doing. I used probably like 10 of these, and there's 25 in them. So I used the last 15 probably for cleaning up things, cleaning up my makeup palettes, just any kind of spills or anything. So, um, but yeah, but these were super thin. They did not help at all to take off makeup, and it was not worth it, even the two bucks, I don't think. So the next one is this Deep Clean. This is a, I tried the pink one, the blue one, the purple one, and now the orange one. I don't know how many other ones there are, but this one did work really well. I'm going through it actually now, and I put it in my blue Neutrogena container, which I love storing my wipes in here because I think it's the best way to store my wipes. Um, and yeah, so I just cut it out through here. These smell really good, and I think they do do deep cleaning. There's nothing different really about the towel, though. It doesn't have more exfoliating or anything that's, like, more harsh um, on it. I have a couple of more full size, and then I'll start getting into the sample sizes, and then you can just click out of here if you don't want to see any samples. But this is the Swispers, and they're just the cotton rounds, and this is a pack of 80. I went through a lot of these. Um, I went through another Swispers that was an 80 pack. I just go through cotton rounds like they're nothing, honestly. Like, I'm halfway through the ones that I'm going through now. And then I kind of stocked up because there was buy one, get one free at Rite Aid last time. But then I got these Rite Aid Renewal Cosmetic, we um, cosmetic um, Wedges. And these were 35. I use this for concealer and highlighter sometimes, which I really like. Um, the next full size thing are these Absorbing Wipes absorbing sheets and these come in a pack of 50 just like the clean and clear ones but these are actually this is the actual like regular packaging for it i just put it in because i got another one and this is what they look like and then they're just clear they're nothing blue like the clean and clear and i never really got the clean and clear because i didn't think they were going to be that much different but um with a clean and clear you can definitely see the different results more so than these because these are clear so it's a little bit harder but um these are bigger, because, as you can tell. They are way bigger, and these are the clean and clear ones. So, and they're cheaper, so I thought, why not? So, these I finished up. And then I also finished up this, only with the gel side. I put it back into the new packaging that I got from the, um, the newer one that I got. Like, um, And this is uh, an 876 brunette, and I finished the gel side, as you can see, I basically finished it up, it was getting really grody, so I was just like, let's trash this, and the brown side, I couldn't get it to depot it, so I was just kind of like, oh, I could use this for eyeshadow, but I'm just deciding not to, because I don't think it's really worth saving, because it was honestly like, two bucks for this anyway. Uh, I have one other candle, which is Vila. I don't really know how to pronounce this, bergamot or something, but this is amazing. It's from Bath and Body Works. It smells like a man's cologne, which really made my room smell freaking amazing. Um, I think I used this while I was at college, so um, it's not super fresh in my head, but um, the smell does smell really good. Um, on to samples. So I have a couple of samples here for you guys. I actually have one other full-size product, which is a soap, so I don't have it with me right now, but I am finishing this up, 
And I just thought I would add this because it's the only thing I have from it. This was actually, me and my mom got it at a craft fair, craft show. Um, and it was just like handmade soap, I, um, natural olive oil. So I know olive oil is great for your skin. So of course I wanted that. And it has coconut oil and soybean oil. And the smell is French pear, which smells pretty good. But I mainly got it this kind because I really liked the ingredients in it. And they're all natural and I knew that they were great for the skin. Um, I do have, wait, I do have some more full size. Sorry, guys. Um, this is the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. So this is the one I normally use. I am trying something new just to switch it up a little bit in my routine. And I do have a backup for this then. But, um, I really like this and it's oil-free and it works well because the only thing is that I realized, um, this has 0.75 fluid ounces. The one I'm using now has 0.5. But this one you do have to use up more and the other one is more of a cream so you can use up less. Like you can use less and that's why there's less in the container. Uh, next three, um, well, the next two are full size, and then I'm going to get into sample sizes, which I don't have as many samples as I would have hoped to have, but I do have some. Um, this one is the Bombshell. This lasted me about nine months, too, because I got it in October in a box, and I wonder if there's anything left. There is a little left. It's not that great like of an example to show but that is the thickness of it as you can see it's really fat I would say as a marker tip because I don't know it's just fat that's how it came um but it's a, be a bombshell and it was in my ipsy bag I would say the first one that I got so that's what that is this one has a little bit more in it that I can see. Maybe I'll finish using it up. But it's just this one, and it's the Maybelline Precise. I just can't get it from the top because it, the top seems pretty crusty, but this part seems pretty solid, Like, but it's this head. So I'm just going to end it here because I didn't have this one for about nine months too, so they are kind of past their prime point anyway. And then the other thing that I have that has to do with eyes is this which I really like a lot I'm using another sample size that I have of this or travel size more likely and it is just this one it's the Clinique I used this about for a month and a half so I kind of ended it because I have another one too so I wasn't really worried about um using it all up but it did get a little more dried out which um and this is a smaller one, so I thought it wouldn't last as much as the full because it does seem a little bit dry in there. And this is what it looks like. It's the Clinique High Impact Mascara. And I really like this for a second coat. Um, I usually put a base coat on and then put this one on top, and I use two coats of this, which I really like. I wouldn't just use this one, though, solely because I don't think that would work as well and give me as good results. Um... The next thing that I have is another Clinique thing, surprisingly, and it's this Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream, and this is a sample size. It's just an exfoliator kind of thing, or a travel size. I feel like I should have saved these for trips that I'm going to go on with my mom, because we're going to go to um, Hawaii, actually, this summer, which I'm really excited for, but this did work. It is less exfoliating than the apricot scrub. It's a lot less exfoliating. Um... It still does the job, but it's just, like, less harsh, so I can see how you can use this seven days, like, throughout the week, which I really liked. I have more samples in here because I didn't want them to get all goopy. So, um, the two that I just tried the other day are these, and they're Vera D.I.D. Interdosha or something. And it's, um, conditioner and shampoo. These I got, I think, in my birch box, I would say. No, I got these in my Bulu or Conscious Box, I think. Actually, Conscious Box or something. But it's, like, natural ingredient shampoo and conditioners. There was nothing special. They were honestly, like, watered down. They were hydrating ones, which I didn't find them hydrating at all. They were not worth it, and I would not look into the full size. The next thing is this Ole Hendrickson, and this is from Sephora, and it's this oil-free brightening moisturizer and this was great it lasted me about five or six days for my face and neck you didn't have to use a little I mean you didn't have to use a lot because a little did go a long way so I would think of repurchasing that this is another all-natural thing and this is just the body this is a body butter cream salve organic lavender extract and organic organic cocoa butter this stuff it made me feel like a grease ball it was honestly it kind of reminded me of something from Lush because of the smell but the consistency was so thick and creamy that I felt like I was literally like a butter bomb. 
The last thing is this Lady Gaga little perfume vial, which is the theme, which I really like. I have another one to go through because I hoarded it and I liked it a lot. The la um, second to last thing is this Yes a Cucumber Soothing Natural Sunscreen, and this is in the SPF 30. This lasted me about two days. It has a really small one. I do like this, though, because you just rip it off so you don't have to open the whole thing and more can come out, and it doesn't get kind of, like, gross if you use it more than once. But um, I did like this. Um, it was nothing special. The smell was not anything that I really liked, so I definitely would not repurchase that again or repurchase that at all. Or just purchase it, yeah. Um, the last thing is this L'Oreal Paris um, Revitalift Triple Power. And this is just a moisturizer. It's um, a deep acting moisturizer. So it it does work a lot. I would, I would purchase this a lot. It's really expensive though. I think it's probably about $20. This L'Oreal thing, the Revitalift line itself, is really expensive in stores. Especially for drugstore, I thought. But I would purchase this full size because I think it was worth it. But I don't need a moisturizer right now, so I obviously wouldn't go out and rush to buy it. But this did last me about, like, three or four times, like, more than I thought it would. So I really liked that. And that is everything for my empties, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry this was kind of lengthy. But, yeah, so that was all my empties. I'm really happy because this was everything I basically went through through May. So I'm going to be putting this up at the end of the month. I wanted to do every other month, but there's no way I can save all this crap that I have right now. So um, I will talk to you later, guys. Later, guys. I will talk to you later, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and it was really informative for you, especially about certain brands and products that you were looking into getting. Okay, that's it. Bye.